Tuana Lopolo is just an absolute legend when it comes to uh, South African hockey. Olympic Games in uh, 2004, and now you've moved on to the coaching thing. And Tuanelo, not only are you just like moving on to the coaching thing, you are leading it when it comes to Africa and black females in coaching. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, yeah, I've, I've always wanted to, to obviously push the boundaries and push the bar in, in terms of everything I've done. That's, that's why I became a sportswoman. You know, and uh, right now I'm really, really passionate about and really obsessed with trying to get the next generation of uh, young black players uh. into the system. So the better I am at coaching, the quicker I can get everyone. You just to got where they to level to be. three. Yes. What does that mean? Um, the FIH have got a FIH Federation of International Hockey. They've got a, a system. So there's level one that you do in your own country, level two, and level three you can do in your own country. And uh, the Federation of International Hockey, your hockey academy. I've also have a um, uh, coaching course, and that's where I went to Egypt to do huh. during the Africa Cup of uh, Nations. So that means Unzwe Mugat coaching, you know, <laughs> like you're like uh, the Jose Mourinho of uh, hockey coaching. Is that what this means for you? Yeah, this is this is where we're getting it. We're getting into to the elite level. Uh -huh. So now I've been uh, invited to do the high performance coaching course that's going to happen at one of the World Cups this year. So once uh, once I'm there, I'm yeah, I'm riding with with the top guns. Who's benefiting from this coaching? Like how are you giving this, you're getting the information, you're yeah. doing the writing, the papers, you're getting distinctions. Now when you come back, who gets to benefit from your knowledge? Okay, firstly, it's my Vits girls. Oh, your Vits? Yes, yes, I've, I've got a, an amazing group of girls there at Vits. Um, so those girls are going to be the first and very excited to, to get things going. Uh, I think they're a little nervous to see what uh, I learned from the, all the Europeans that <laughs> were facilitating the course to see if, uh, have I now um, gotten a bit more of a Hitler um, thing to me? Uh -huh. Or am I just still as, as fun and, and, um, and sort of going with them? But yeah, it's firstly the, my, my club side. I'm looking to go into provincial coaching as well. Um, yeah, and hopefully real soon I'll be in a green and gold. What's okay? Um, and I came to Joburg in 92, 91. Yeah, and that's we high. Born in Lesotho, playing for South Africa. Yeah, my mom's a citizen and her family's been from way back. Gold medal at the All Africa Games with South Africa in 03, Olympic Games in 04. You've mm -hmm. been to a couple of World Cups. Where did the passion for hockey start? Soccer. Yeah? <laughs> I grew up playing soccer. I was the first one. One is your feet, the other one's a <laughs> stick and, <laughs> and, and thing, smaller right? than a ball. 11 of us, striker, midfield, defender, goalkeeper. Uh. Field is relatively the same size. And yeah, so tactically it's the same thing. Ah. Except in hockey, there's no offside, so I've scored way more goals than I've scored at soccer. Because <laughs> you were also you also were a striker. Yes. Go hockey. Yeah. But I did fine. I played soccer. I played hockey. I did fine. Oh, hockey dangerous. <laughs> well, I want a hockey dangerous. That ball and the sticks and it goes past your ankle at two thousand kilometers no. an hour and it can break things. You know where to be, where to be, and how to be where you are at the right time. You will always be there. Age sixteen, you decide I'm going to be a hockey player. Yeah, I, was, was, I, I picked up my first stick when I was 13, when I picked up uh, touch rugby as well. So I was playing both oh, and a bit of tennis, played to everything at yeah, high school. I <laughs> no, <laughs> touch rugby. Yeah, but still. Uh, no, I had to be quick and nimble and uh, agile. Yeah. So that's, it worked. And I was actually, you know what, I, let me tell South Africans as well. Oh, okay. As much as you played for South Africa hockey, you also played for South Africa touch rugby. Like I didn't even know. Jorge <laughs> Honali, touch rugby national team. Yeah. Back in 1999, we had money then in sport. Eh? We were sending oh, touch no, rugby look, teams. Look, uh, eh? We all had to fundraise <laughs> for a long time. And touch rugby world championships, it ain't. Yeah, this is in Australia. I was 16, by far the youngest, I think, at the tournament. Um, I think the next person in our, in our South African squad was 23. So I always feel like I, I didn't get the, the, the proper you know, thing of, the, of being at a World Cup. So I had to do it again. Uh. So when I left touch rugby, I had to get into hockey, find the next thing, and hockey was, was the love. Let me tell again, touch rugby, ne? if you don't know, <laughs> they don't touch each other. Ne? <laughs> like, how not tackling? It's just like, how about you are tackled, you must stop. Yes. 
Like that's there's a World Cup for that. Yes. <laughs> you have to be really quick, yeah. really Could smart. Just, <laughs> yo, can, hey, yo, hey, and then try. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. It's not your life. Yes, mm -hmm. but thank you for representing us. Did you come back with something from that World Cup? Oh well, uh, the world of experience. That's and all. Uh, no, no, we like medals. <laughs> <laughs> Your nice time no, and experience, no. I think no. that was our first um, outing. And uh, I think since that World Cup, South Africa has sent a team since. And now the World Cup has grown. Mm. When then it was a women's section, men's section, and the mixed section. And I played in the mixed. So mixed means three men on the field uh. and three women on the field. So we're in the same team. The other team have three men, three women. So, yeah, so half my, most of my career I played against being on the other side. Coming back to hockey very quickly, because mm. that's where the love is, that's yes, where the sir. passion is, and that's where you obviously had the most success representing the country. Mm -hmm. Hockey, you know, those days of Olympic Games and, uh, you know, Botswanello going to Olympic Games and stuff, we haven't been, you know, I know we're sending a team to the, all, to the Commonwealth Games now, yeah. but what's going on? Well, there's, um, there's always going to be powers that be that make decisions that, uh, that are going to affect people on the ground. And I think as federations and sports people and sports fans, we need to always support. So it's not the players? No, I think, you know... We still it, we have quality players. Oh, look, we South Africans, we'll always have really, really passionate people about what we do. Um, we have really amazing players. Um, we've got really good coaches coming up. We know we've got coaches spreading their wings all around the world. So we are getting better and better at every stage that we were in. Do you see a South African hockey team, male or female, going to Tokyo next Olympics? I see both teams going to Tokyo. Yeah. Why do you have that belief? Um, we are going to medal now at Commonwealth. Uh, I think the women are definitely going to medal. I think the, the men are in a bit of a building phase. You can see the, the structure of how the teams were chosen. And I think the men will do very well in the World Cup um, in November, December this year. And we, as a country, will will know that these are teams that can medal at an, uh, an Olympic Games. Last question. Yes, sir. Now that you're a coach, mm -hmm. what's the ultimate dream for you? What do you want to achieve? My dream um, is to, I think, in about eight years, she I want looks to... She watch. Your watch actually has years <laughs> on it. <laughs> I want to... Uh, we want to grow uh, my NPO, and, and that is solely focused on building and creating, finding talent and nurturing any player that we can find in the townships. So I want to see a whole lot of those kids in provincial and national setups. There you go. Okay. Thank you very much. Is this for you, sir? Oh, this is the, the brand must, Look the at brand that. must Look at grow. That. Can, <laughs> can you see? <laughs> Eric Coach. Coach Polo. Polo. Yep. Yeah. The brand must grow. I know I like it, Coach. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure, I'm sir. I'm going to come to uh, to Vitz and I'll be here. I'm, I'm not here for Vitz. Because <laughs> I went to Rao, which is now UJ, so I'm not there for you, but I'm here for Coach, Coach Fulu.